so you can get ProActive shipped overnight and start clearing up even sooner. People ask me, what are you doing to your skin that's different? I'm like, you have to try this. Call 1-800-772-7167. And don't forget to ask about ProActive next day. That's 1-800-772-7167. Don't settle for bad skin. Do something about it with ProActive. I love connecting with my audience and responding to questions that they write in. So today's question comes from Joan in Bayside, New York. Joan writes, I'm vegan, but my husband's not. How do we meet in the middle? Joan, I have the exact same situation. I'm vegan and my husband is vegetarian. So I always say that we have a mixed marriage. But it took us a while to kind of come and, and find harmony within this. And I think the two things that I can tell you is that you really need to honor each other's decisions because what you eat is so personal. And I think that you need to kind of respect what his decision is and do your own thing. And when you have kids, it gets a little bit a little get, bit more sticky, so I think, unless you already have them, work it out now if you can and just make sure that you guys are comfortable with it. The other thing is you need to, you need to not judge each other because judgment never works. You know, be a role model, do your thing. He's watching, he'll notice. Maybe he'll shift in the future, maybe not. Either way, love him for who he is. I'm Juliana Hever, and that's what I would do in my Vegan 101 class. Now, it's up to you. See you next time. Hi, I'm Jeff Halavy. Remember when getting exercise meant playing on the monkey bars and going down the slide? We're going old school today with a workout routine that seems less like work and more like play. Old school fitness today on Workout From Within. We're putting the fun back in fitness, not to your chest, but more to your hip area. There you go. That's it, let's go, come on. We gotta live it. It's back to basics today with old school fitness that takes us back to the playground for exercise. Here to take a trip down memory lane with me is Sanford. Welcome, Sanford. Hello. What were some of your favorite exercises when you were growing up? I loved swinging on the swings and I loved playing kickball as a kid. Well, we won't be doing kickball because it would be kind of dangerous in here, but we will be doing something that is kind of swing-like. And All right. So mo the, reason we're, the reason I've picked the exercises I've picked, especially the first two, is most men have trouble doing push-ups and pull-ups. And those are sort of like, even when you look at the armed services, they always test for the number of pull-ups you can do, the number of push-ups you can do. They're about as old school as you can get, mm -hmm. but they're powerhouse exercises. So to give ourselves a little assistance with the way we do them, mm -hmm. we're gonna use a band that I have set up behind you. Okay. Okay, attached to the door frame. So I've got a little, uh, pull up bar over here. Okay. okay. I'm gonna have you step through to the outside just for a moment. Okay. okay. And I'm going to set you up for a pull up. Now this is a band that's going to assist you, and it's like a big rubber band. Okay. okay. So I want I would like ah, you to step in. Both feet. Just one. Oh yeah. Okay. I like this already. Now this leg is going to cross over the front leg to secure the band, just like that. Okay. Now we're gonna do a chin up, which means your palms are going to be facing you. So go ahead and have your palms facing you on the bar. And they should be how far apart? Should That's they be? fine. That's just a close grip, which is just fine. That's actually the easiest grip to start with. Okay. And let's go ahead and pull yourself all the way up. There you go. And all the way down. Oh. Let's do a few more reps. It's pretty cool, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> So it makes it a lot easier. So even if you're someone who might be able to get one rep and you want to start building up in order to get eight, 10, 12 reps, this is a great way to build up that muscle to do it. Excellent, Sanford. Feet, up, feet stay on the floor. Uh -huh. And I'm going to take the band off, okay? Where, now, where can I buy this band? You can buy this band online. There are a number of distributors that um, that that sell exactly this type of uh, this type of band. And then this is available at many sporting goods stores. So oh, cool. this is stuff that's readily accessible, close to home for just about anybody. Cool. Okay. Nice. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to deload the push-up, meaning we're going to have you moving less of your body weight on the push-up, thereby making it easier. Okay. Uh, yes. That's what, you move about 65% of your body weight when you do a push-up off of the floor. 
before. Mm -hmm. This is going to take rid of, get rid of some of that body weight, okay. because it, 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 not because we're trying to make you weigh less before you read into it, but because we're trying to help you get more reps. Okay. okay. And for many men, they can't do one, so this is a great tool. Now go ahead and put both arms through. Okay. So this is going to start just like that. A little twisted over there. Fix that. Okay. Now from here, I'd like you to place your hands on the ground over here. Okay. And what you'll notice, it's like having a buddy pull you up. So yes. go down for a push-up. Excellent. And back up. And that's a pretty good push-up. Now, if someone is more advanced, and I know that you're a little more advanced just from having spoken to you, you are, you can actually turn this into one of those clapping push-ups. So why don't you go ahead and give us a clap? Exactly. So even if you can't normally do it, you can use the band in order to do that type of push-up and eventually make yourself you know, more explosive in this position, all right? What about a double clap? Go for it. <laughs> clap, clap, perfect. <laughs> right. Okay, that's all I can excellent. do. Excellent, that was great. Someone's gonna be sore tomorrow. <laughs> Go ahead and stand it up. That was excellent though. Okay. okay, most people obviously cannot do a double clap like that. I don't suggest doing it right off the bat, but it is a great way to just get past that sticking point sometimes for, for the number of reps you can do. Just join me over here. We're going to uh, walk over to our yoga mat. Okay. And what I'd like you to do is lay down uh, with your head over there and your feet towards me. So just take a moment to lay down. And we're going to do something called a Yanda sit-up. It's one of my favorites. Now, I have to warn you ahead of time, it took me a while to, to be able to just build up to the point where I could do about five or six reps of this on my own. Almost anybody who does this will need to start doing it assisted. The way that we set up for this is we're going to take any implement that you can squeeze between your heels and your buttocks, just like that. So the whole time you want to feel your hamstrings working and maybe even your calves a little bit, squeezing that implement in. We just used a, a short foam roller. Okay. The next step, I'm going to pass you a rope. If you don't have a buddy to help you out like we're doing this, this is actually a fun exercise to do with a buddy, by the way, because you both get a little bit of a workout. But you could always tie this around the doorknob oh, and okay. then use it that way to pull yourself up at home, okay? Uh, or even if you have a setup like that chin-up bar, uh -huh. you can go high and use that to pull yourself up. Now, without losing any pressure from your heels on this foam roller, yep. this is brutal. Watching at home, you have no clue how difficult this is until you try it. So try it. <laughs> All right. So what I'd like you to do is go ahead and sit up, and I'm going to give you the assistance. Yeah, it's a toughie. Okay. And now all the way up. Keep coming. All right. And excellent. Now slowly lower yourself back down. You feel how brutal that is? Yes. All right. That's a tough one. Now normally we, won't, we don't take a break between sit-ups, and you even showed me before we started uh, doing this, you can do 50 sit-ups easy, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. This is not the same because what you're doing is you're losing, by squeezing th that foam roller, a lot of the assistance muscles that usually help out, like the hip flexors, yeah. are not utilized at all. So even if you're a total stud like you are and you're able to do those 50 sit-ups <laughs> at the drop of a hat, uh -huh. this is a whole different ball game. So now that you rested for a moment, let's go ahead and try our next rep. Make sure that you set up squeezing tight, all right? And let's go ahead and pull it up. You're actually even better on the second rep. Now, control descent. Control it, control it, control it. Excellent. Very good. Are you feeling that? Yes. Okay. And it's okay to breathe, Sanford. <laughs> I noticed you weren't breathing. Let me give you a hand up. Easy up, especially because you just tax Thank those uh, muscles. You. And you might even notice you already have a uh, six pack. I do. <laughs> Very good work. <laughs> you get a big hand. Nice. Excellent. Stick around because coming up next, more old school fitness moves with a modern twist. And later, why our brain benefits by working out like a kid. You will feel those, those muscles. He digs the classics. Practice builds discipline. She rocks. Yoga is going to challenge everybody. Together, they'll help you build strength, de-stress, and align body and mind. Jai and Sadie, back-to-back -back new episodes that wake you up ooh, and work you out. Two ways to get your yoga on, all in one place. Start your day with Yoga Sutra Now, followed by Rock Your Yoga. Mornings starting at 7, only on Varia Living. This is the computer ICU. It's what happens to your computer when it gets infected, slows down, and crashes. And if you don't do something, your computer could wind up here in the computer graveyard. But 
it could be saved with MyCleanPC.com. Is your computer running slow? Are you frustrated with error messages, blue screens, computer freezes, and crashes? Then go to MyCleanPC.com for your free diagnosis today. Then just activate the MyCleanPC.com software to fix it in minutes. And computer specialists are available while you're online. The best thing about MyCleanPC.com was it had a free diagnosis. My computer is 100% faster. You know immediately what the problem is, and the problem is solved right then and there. Download your free diagnosis today at MyCleanPC.com. I am a non-attorney spokesperson. Attention women Lipitor users. Medical studies have revealed that some women who use Lipitor may be at a greater risk for developing diabetes. If you or a loved one have developed diabetes after taking Lipitor, you may be entitled to money damages. The call center for Kona Malad is available 24-7. Call now, 800-9-HELP-90 or log on to KonaMalad.com. You may be entitled to money damages if you develop diabetes after taking Lipitor. Call 800-9-HELP-90 now. I've lost weight so quickly on Atkins. 23 pounds in just six weeks. Oh, yeah. And I did it without starving myself. On Atkins, I can lose weight and eat deliciously. I eat lots of tasty and filling low-carb foods, veggies, fruits. I snack on bars and shakes, perfect when there's no time to cook. Try Atkins and lose weight deliciously. Get started now. Call or visit Atkins.com for a free Atkins Quick Start Kit with three free bars. Welcome back. Like Run DMC, we're kicking it old school today with a workout that takes us back to our childhoods. And here to play around is Sanford. Welcome Hi. back, Sanford. Thank you, thank you. All right, so Sanford, there is nothing more fun than sort of like playground fitness. The stuff that you did on the schoolyard, you had all these different objects. Like, you know, like we had tires on the playground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We had shuttle runs, we, we did tug of war. Mm -hmm. Guess what? What? We're doing the adult version of those today. Great. <laughs> all right. Okay. So I'm gonna throw you one little twist too because you're particularly fit yeah. and I want you to actually get a good workout of this, okay. so, out of this. So the one thing that I'm going to throw into the mix is, this is pretty old school too, yeah. good old jump rope, yeah. okay? Uh -huh. In between the exercises that we do, yeah. I'm gonna have you do what's called an active recovery, mm -hmm. which means you're getting a little bit of a rest, but not a full rest. So a full recovery might mean that you plop down on like a workout bench or whatever it is, an active recovery means that you still continue exercising while you're recovering. Okay. So some people say that's not a recovery at all, mm -hmm. but it is. You get a little bit of a, of a breather, okay. all right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to place the jump rope uh, behind me. Now, the first exercise that we have up yeah. is a shuttle run. Now, all of us are a relay race, whatever you want to call it. We've all done this in gym class. Mm -hmm. Now, I have set up on this side. Oop, we, got, we had our basketball roll away just a little bit, but I have on this side a basketball and a football. Okay. And on the other side of the room here, I have a dumbbell set up yes. where you're going to be starting. Okay. Now, Sanford, you're gonna run to this side of the room, grab the basketball, bring it back to that dumbbell, uh -huh. run back, grab the football, place it next to the basketball, and then run back here to finish. Okay. At which point in time, I'm gonna pass you the jump rope and have you jump rope while I tell you what we're doing next. Great. On your mark. Yep. Get set uh -huh. and go. Basketball first, grab it. And back, football next, <laughs> grab it, back, and then you're gonna run back over here. Hey, that was a walk. <laughs> and you're gonna go into your active recovery. All right, that was great. Nice My fast feet on that. My told me to pick <laughs> you. No singing. Sorry. Okay, okay, you can sing. The next thing we're going to do is we're gonna be jumping in and out of the tire. So what's nice is you're gonna get your active recovery now, and I'm gonna show you how we're jumping in and out of the tire. Okay. The way we're gonna jump first is like this. We're just gonna jump in, an over, okay? Yep, yep. Then we're gonna turn around and we're gonna jump, putting our feet outside as well, out, in, in, and over. Okay. All right, your time is up on the jump rope. Get ready for some more jumping. Okay. <laughs> so the first one, remember, is okay. jumping in the middle and then to the other side. We're gonna do that just back and forth, okay? So jump to the middle and then other side, turn around, middle, and then the other side. Oh. oh, you got fancy. Simon didn't say. <laughs> okay, let's do the basic one Always again first. Always listen to your trainer. Yes, okay. that okay, is sorry. true. That's, that's written on all the walls of my gym. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Is you're just going to jump in the middle, yep. other side, middle, other side. Got okay, it. let's yep. go ahead and do that one first. Middle, other side. That's it. 
back to middle, then other side. Other side. Good. Now we're going to do the... <laughs> it's tiring jumping. Uh-huh. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to jump outside the tire. Okay. All right? So I think you're up to it. Inside out. Exactly. Both. Inside out, yes. Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> Let's go for it. So you're going to jump middle, side. That's it. Back to middle. Uh, there we go. And then the other side. This is tough. This I mean, it takes coordination. It takes a lot of coordination and it takes a lot of energy. This is a big <sighs> calorie. But anytime you're jumping around, you're burning a lot of calories. You got to go the other direction. <laughs> That's it. Out. Good. Middle. And to the other side. Excellent. Now, no good deed goes unpunished. We're going to get back on the jump rope here. And I'm going to tell you what's up next. Why don't you talk to your viewers while I. <laughs> To my, my viewers, you know, Sanford, you have you have me all to yourself today, and I'm sure uh, our viewers are just enjoying us, uh, enjoying watching us have fun over here. <sighs> so I'm gonna be the anchor, uh -huh. and we're going to be playing tug of war up next. So I'm gonna have you jump rope for another 10 seconds oh, or so. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's all right. We can just drop it. Okay, You're eager to get into the <laughs> jump rope, uh, into the tug of war, uh -huh. and um, we want to make sure that we clear our surface first. So let's just go ahead and move that onto the couch. Safety first, right? Yes. Okay. And I'm going to have you hold the other end of this. So we're going to line up where that dumbbell is. I'm going to come to the other end of the room, OK? And I'm not going to give you the resistance of trying to pull you back, but you're going to have to do, the, you know, do all the pulling yourself, okay? OK? Now, I weigh a little over 200 pounds. Have fun. <laughs> all right? Let's start pulling. <laughs> oh, you're not messing around, Sanford, are you? <laughs> That's pretty good. And this is a great exercise. Go back and Good. do it. Good. I am going to go back and do it again. This is a great exercise because you're not only, and you can feel this too, you're not only working the legs, you're working your core, and you're working those lats, the muscles that you use when you're doing a row or when you're doing a, a, a pull-up or a chin-up. All right? This is a great exercise. This is play. It's fun. But you also get a great workout okay, out of it. Now let's, really resist. OK. Let's do it again. <laughs> OK. Hold on. Let's go. <clears throat> <laughs> Do uh, I get to pull you to the other you side? Pull. Come on. <laughs> You're gonna be sore tomorrow. <laughs> you don't weigh 200, you weigh 140. <laughs> All right, excellent job, Sanford. Now, there's one last thing that I'd like to do. I'm gonna throw you a little, little curveball. Yes. All right, we're gonna do one last exercise, and it's gonna be the last thing that we do. And the reason we're including it it's not necessarily because you did it on the playground, but in my book, you just don't get more old school than this. Okay. We're gonna finish with a really good plank, okay? Oh, okay. So yeah. what I'd like you to do is put your head and hands over here. Yeah, go down. Yes. Okay, in a put top push-up position, so we're gonna do a plank with the arms extended, and just a few coaching cues. It's very important because I see people do planks in the gym all the time, and you have a pretty good setup. What's important is that the shoulder, the hip, the knee, and the ankle are all in nice alignment, just like you have it right now. The plank is not effective when people pike up like this. This is not what we want to do. The other one is hip sagging. Exactly. You want that nice, central, neutral position. And the reason, and you can take a break for a second, Sanford. No, I'll keep going. All right, you keep going then. The reason that this is so key is it works the entire body, and it really should be a staple in everybody's routine. You're gonna keep going. Thank you so much for being such an incredible guest. You're welcome. <laughs> you are a stud in my book. <laughs> Stick around because coming up next, why playful workouts work, and later, a trip for me down memory lane. Oh, I'm sorry. Keep, keep it up. She's the newest cooking sensation, spreading spices throughout the nation. From Guyana, what a creation! Exotic food so delicious, blending new techniques with tradition. Swings a machete, but she's not malicious. Nermala, Nermala, Nermala. Are you bad spices, queen? Nermala, Nermala. Weekdays on Buria Living. Tired of flipping your pancakes right out of the pan? Sick of cooking one at a time over and over again? And what about all that fatty butter and oil you have to use? Not anymore. Hi, Mark Gill here for the new Perfect Pancake Pan. The fast, easy way to make four picture-perfect pancakes every time. No spatula needed. Watch, just add in your batter, close the lid, and turn it over. Wow, you've got four eye-popping pancakes just that easy. 
now cook all your favorite flapjacks, like tasty chocolate chip, delicious cranberry, or fluffy buttermilk without the mess or added fat. The secret is this durable non-stick surface that's so slick, not even burnt caramel will stick to it. The new Perfect Pancake Pan is spatula free and works on any stovetop. Oh, not again, you pop the yolk. No problem. Now everyone can prepare four eggs over easy with perfect yolks every time. Go ahead, make scrumptious banana pancakes, fluffy blueberry, or mountains of your family's favorite pancakes fast and easy. You can also make delicious dessert crepes or four hearty egg sandwiches just like from a restaurant. Plus it cleans up in a snap. Why flip one at a time? Call now and make four perfect pancakes at the same time with the new Perfect Pancake Pan and our fast and easy recipe book for only $19.95. But I'm not stopping there. Call or click right this minute and we'll double your entire order. That way you'll have one for a friend or family member free. Just pay separate processing and handling. Yep, you get it all. Two new Perfect Pancake Pans with our fast and easy recipe book, a whopping $80 value, all for just $19.95. And when you call, ask about our drip-free dispenser to add just the right amount of batter, neat and easy, every time. Don't delay. Order today. To order the perfect pancake for $19.95 plus processing and handling, call 1-800-405-1560. Again, that's 1-800-405-1560 or order online at pieperfectpancake.com. I'm Dominique Dawes, and there's a big advantage parents can give their kids. Making sure they get active at least 60 minutes each day. Studies show that physical activity not only helps kids stay healthy, it can enhance important skills like concentration and problem solving, which can improve academic performance. This means physical activity can help your kids in the most important game of all, life. We're taking a cue from our childhoods with playground workouts today. Here with some of the benefits behind Playful Fitness is holistic wellness coach, Javanka Ciarez. Welcome, Javanka. Thank you for having me. So why do we need to remember our inner child when we're working out? Well, I mean, life is fairly short, and sometimes we forget that we need to balance hard work with a little bit of fun. So remembering your inner child will, allow, will help you find a sense of, of balance, and, and it, just, it will help you uh, remember that fun-loving, carefree attitude that you had when you were a kid. Now, I am anything but carefree right. now, but I still can have fun. So how can we create workouts that maybe are not only fun, but maybe, you know, kind of push me into the carefree zone? Right. So mimicking some of the games that you had. Remember when you were a kid and you couldn't wait to go out to recess? Sometimes working out sounds a little bit like work. and It feels like going to school, not to recess. Yeah, it's like and a it's chore. just more yeah. of the same. And you don't necessarily want to do that. You know it's good for you, but mm -hmm. it, when, it, when you feel like it's work, it will become a little harder. But wouldn't it be fun if you would think think about working out as something similar to what you did when you were a kid. Well, look at what we even call it. We call it working out. That's horrible. It's we should be work. called playing out. Exactly. <laughs> Definitely. What are some of the, because you just touched on this a moment ago, what are some of the sort of, I guess, more gamey ways, and especially now gamification is right. huge in terms of consumer experience with Correct. brands, like turning things into games. What are some ways that we can make fitness more fun and game-like for ourselves. So it's just a matter of, of adding to your workout some of those games that you had when you were a kid. So mimicking some of the activities that you had uh, when you were a kid <laughs> and coming together with your friends and coming up with ideas that will not only help you do what you're supposed to do, so you'll be burning calories, right. you'll definitely be strengthening your body, but you'll be having a lot of fun in the process. So, so we're talking what? Like hula hoops? Yeah, like, so hula hoop, for example, yeah. is a perfect example. Like, do you remember the hula hoops, right? The big plastic rings. I, I was never a very good hula hooper. Oh, but I it do was remember. so much fun. You had to gyrate your body, yeah, which will I was, help I was you strengthen. Too... <laughs> yeah, it's a great workout. In fact, you will burn roughly around 200 calories in just 30 minutes of oh, wow. uh -huh. and you can actually find some fun tapes online that you can buy and do them with your friends or in the privacy of your own home. And, and what about some I mean I remember playing tag I remember you know right. even just having a catch and correct dodgeball for example which is just it's literally there's dodgeball teams sprouting
going all over the nation. You're the adult dodgeball right, league. And, yeah. and it's a great workout. I mean, you, it's almost like an interval workout. You'll be jumping and squatting. You'll be grabbing and pushing. And, right. and you can burn as many as 340 calories in one hour. I believe in a very aggressive game of, of <laughs> dodgeball. That, pro that number could probably double because any time you have to react, like that's Correct. why trail running actually right. burns more calories because you have to always react to the trail. It's, what's also really nice about that too is – you know, you don't want to, to, to get into what I would guess would refer to as a zen-like state, but you do have to pay so much attention at the ball not hitting you in the head, right. I guess, that Absolutely. you get fully engrossed Correct. You know, in the activity itself. You know, one other thing that's really funny is just a, a short anecdote is as an adult, we feel foolish doing a lot right. of things in order to stay fit. And my parents love telling the story, but we, we had this huge tree in my backyard. Right. And I used to stand out there because I believed, I believed in my heart of hearts when I was five years old that I could eventually chop the tree down, okay? <laughs> so I would stand there with a baseball yeah. bat, and, and I played baseball too, right. so this kind of helped. I would just sit there and hit the tree. Correct. Okay. Now, my parents thought there was probably something a little wrong with me because I would just stand out there and hit the tree. Anger issues. Yes. Just stand there and hit, you know, hit the tree forever. But that was actually a phenomenal workout. I was doing Absolutely. a power endurance workout, and working my core. It didn't feel like work at all. Oh, it I didn't, didn't think I was, I was having, I was having I was a great having time. A great time. Absolutely. I, uh, one question I have is, you know, with, with in, in terms of accessing this inner child that I do believe is still within, within all of us, it, does meditation play a role in, in accessing that state? Well, absolutely. I mean, you have to have the right mindset when you go into a workout. You have to remember that it's something that is you're doing something good for your body. Mm -hmm. But it, it's also hard to get in that state once you've had a long day and you're trying to, you know, manage your life. Right. So mm, giving yourself permission to treat yourself mm -hmm. with a fun workout is extremely important. Right. So meditation is sort of the break. You, you give yourself the opportunity to... Okay. You set your mindset, you set your intentions, you know exactly what right. your end goal is, and then you go and get it. You give yourself permission. <laughs> Jovanka, thank you so much. Stick around because I'll be sharing a few old school fitness memories of my own. Very good. Yeah. Now we actually finish the segment. On the next Yogi Cameron, a model guru. I suffer from dermatomyositis, which is a skin and muscle inflammation. Do you think you're a disciplined person? Not really. <laughs> Trying to master sun salutations yoga is a little bit of a challenge. <laughs> Welcome to your new drugstore. We treat skin diseases through the stomach. Eat it. I need water. <sighs> Light weights. Yogi Cameron, a model guru. Sundays at 9 p.m. on Varia Living. Curious about natural healing? Then jump into the conversation on For Real Living's Facebook page. Go to facebook.com slash for real wellness. Do you own a home or a condo? Then it's time you learn about American Residential Warranty. Hi, I'm Anthony Sullivan. And I'm Michelle Edmonds. And we're here with important information for every homeowner. Did you know home appliance and major system breakdowns cost homeowners an average of $1,700 per year in repairs and replacements? American Residential Warranty can help cover those costs with home service plans starting at less than a dollar a day. For most covered repairs, you simply pay a small service fee and a American Residential Warranty will take care of the rest. Including parts and labor. American Residential Warranty replaced my dishwasher with a brand new one, and I only paid a small service fee. I woke up on a Saturday morning, and there was no hot water in the shower. So I called American Residential Warranty. They sent a repairman to fix the problem the same day. Plan options include coverage for central air, heat, and duct work. Interior electrical systems and plumbing. Major kitchen appliances. Water heaters. Washers and dryers. Garage door openers, ceiling fans, and more. Even pools and spas. American Residential Warranty gives you security and peace of mind with plans starting at less than $1 per day. And you get a 30 day money back guarantee on any plan. Call now or go to getahomeplan.com to learn how you can get two free months. And for a limited time, you can get a home security system valued at $850 free with any plan. You can call American Residential Warranty. 24 hours a day. Their customer service is incredible. When my air conditioning was broken, they came out and my AC was fixed the same day I called. You can save money with a home service plan from American Residential Warranty. Call now. There's no obligation. 
But hurry, if you wait until you need a home service repair, it'll be too late. Call 1-800-322-9908 to find out which home warranty plan is right for you. That's 1-800-322-9908. Call now. I hope you had fun going old school with me today. It's really important to keep fitness fun. You know, growing up, I played a multitude of sports. I did karate, I wrestled, and I played baseball. And karate, actually, I probably should even cross off that list because most of the times that my mom came to pick me up at karate, I wasn't doing too much of this. I was actually doing a lot of this, push-ups in the corner because I was talking too much and I got punished. But the important part is that no matter what I was doing growing up, I always, you know, I never thought like I'm working out or I'm staying fit. I just thought to myself, I'm, I'm participating in some kind of game and there's, there's a goal, there's an outcome, there's something that we're doing here, there's some type of end result that isn't a six pack or, you know, performance related. It's really just getting better at what I'm doing. And I think that that's a, you know, it's a valuable lesson for adults to really take away with them. When you watch kids, work out, which is really just play, they're in the moment. They're just fully engrossed, they're enjoying themselves, and they're enjoying it whether they stink at it or they're great at it. They're just happy to be doing something. And I think as adults, we need to remove that pressure from ourselves. Yes, it's important to make sure you get to the gym, it's important to make sure that you maybe do a number of sets and reps, etc. but make it fun in any way that you can, whether that's involving a friend or even joining like an, an adult dodgeball league. Whatever it takes to get you moving and get you fit, it really doesn't matter as long as you have the big F in there. Fun. <laughs> I'm Jeff Halavy. I'll see you next time on Workout From Within. It's the bold new face of wellness. The all new Varia Living and VariaLiving.com. Check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Varia Wellness. You're watching Varia Living. Once again, to Under the Sun. The programme that takes you to the far-flung corners of the world, off the beaten track, to discover sustainable ways of living and alternative paths of development, to meet people you may otherwise never have a chance to meet. I'm Nathan Leroy, your host for this journey, and this week I'm coming to you from a pristine, tropical environment that's remained completely unspoiled and untouched by any kind of industrialized farming, chemical pesticides, anything like that. The people who live here, they've had no need for those things because they've got beautiful volcanic soil which just lets anything shoot out of the ground. Welcome to the Happy Isles of Vanuatu. Vanuatu, a country with about 200,000 people and over 100 distinct languages, a collection of about 80 islands, only two of which have electricity. From the western coast of the United States, if we travel southwestwards, we would reach the South Pacific, but first we'd go past